Most people think of power tools as really being sexy, especially contractors think that way. But hand tools are a very important part of the job. In this video today, we're going to show you some of the hand tools that BN Products offers to the industry. Tools that will really save you money, make you money, and help you to be more profitable. Hand tools on the job site can really make a difference in how well your work goes and how well you complete the job. For years, we've offered tools for the concrete contractor, for bending rebar when it's in place. And of course, the three-prong hickey bar has been a standard in the industry for a long, long time. But we felt that it would be great to make something that's a little beefier, a little longer, and is more versatile. So we came out with this tool. In fact, we came out with three models of this tool. And what's great about this tool is you can put anything from your number threes right on up to a number five rebar, your number tens right on up to a 16 millimeter bar inside the slot. And you can see how the head will rotate 180 degrees. And as you rotate that head and lock it into place, then there's a button on the side that will extend the handle. So you can see that it's much longer than your standard three-prong hickey bar. It's real easy to bend rebar that's in place. And then once you've made the bend, the whole thing can slide together and fit easily into your toolbox. The steel shaft here is made of solid steel. The handle is much thicker than a typical handle you'd find on other tools. And you can see here that this is one of our models. This one has the nail puller feature. We have another one that has the chisel on the end for breaking apart forms. And then of course, if you're just wanting it to be smooth on the end for the way you do your, your bending, then we have one that has the smooth handle at the end. I was talking to a contractor and he told me how he could set this around a stake in his concrete forms and move it back and forth to break it loose. And that got us thinking. When a contractor is putting in stakes for concrete forms, it's real easy to damage your hand, whether you're installing it or even when you're taking the units out. Injuries can happen. And so we began looking at creating some new products that would work extremely well at both installing stakes and concrete forms and also removing them. So let me show you these brand new tools. Installing and removing concrete form stakes is a real safety problem on the job site. So many hand injuries happen during that process. So let me show you some new tools that we've added that we think can save you time when you're doing your installation and also when you're doing your, your removal. But more importantly, it'll reduce your workers' comp claims. It'll reduce the number of injuries that you have when people are installing stakes. And so this small little display is going to simulate a place where you're going to install a stake. And so we're going to imagine that there's a piece of uh, two by four or two by sixes going across for your forms, and you're going to set your stake. The typical way of doing that, obviously, is just grabbing a hammer and hammering it in. And you can see where there can be so many problems that happen. You could miss the stake and catch a finger, break a knuckle, a lot of injuries happen. And so we were talking with contractors and we said, well, if we came up with something that would actually hold the stake, would that help you? And from a safety standpoint, this has become a tremendous tool because now you can pick the stake right up off the ground, you can hold it in place where you're gonna hammer it in, and then you can hammer it, and you can see how far away my hand is from the stake. I'm not gonna hit it, I'm not gonna cause an injury to my hand. And then as you're driving it, particularly if we're talking about a big job, a person can be holding this while another person is driving, and they can remove that and go get another stake. And so we began looking at that and say, well, what if we came up with a larger striking area for the person that's actually driving the stake? And so this is our stake striker. And you can see the size of the surface area versus the small size if you were holding onto the stake with your hand. Again, your hand is far away from it. And you can drive this easily and quickly. In fact, you can hit it much harder. And so your job gets done faster.
Now imagine if you had two guys working this together. One had the stake holder, the second guy had the hammer and the stake striker. The guy could already be set up to hit the next one with his holder. You just drop that over the top and strike it and you can just work your way around installing hundreds of stakes on large jobs. You can do it quickly, effectively, and again, nobody's holding on to the stake. Now, let's imagine that you finish the job you poured your concrete, everything is done, and you're breaking your forms apart. Now you want to remove the stake. So in our display, we're going to imagine that we have a piece of, we have our board, we have our nail coming through the board, or through the stake into the board, and now we want to remove it and remove the stake. So we've created a couple of different tool options to do that job. Oftentimes guys end up kicking it with their foot, that's not good. Or they're taking a hammer and they're smacking the side of it, damages the stake, and if they glance off it and hit their shin, you got another guy going to the urgent care center. With this tool, you can see that there's a channel in the center and a nail pulling feature at the bottom. So it fits right over your three quarter inch stake, slides down onto the duplex nail, and then just by lifting it up, the nail will come right out. You pull it out straight, so you don't damage the nail at all. Now when it comes to removing the stake, we've come up with this particular product. And it's this stake puller is designed to where these roller grips that are heat treated go around the stake, you lift up, and then by twisting it back and forth, you break the surface tension that's around the stake. And it's amazing. The stake will pull out quickly and easily with very little effort. And you can go on to the next one. This particular model has its built-in belt clip, so you can hook it on. You can be pulling with the, 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 the nail puller and pull, pull out your nail and then pull off your stake puller and put it on, twist it, and remove it. Again, if it's a big job, one guy can be pulling nails while the next guy is following along with this, the stake puller. But we had contractors ask us about, can't you just combine it together? And so we did. We created the, the unit to where there's both <coughs> the nail puller built into the tool. So once again, if we're imagining a board going across the front here, we have the nail puller that's on the stake puller. It slides down, grabs the duplex nail, you just pull up, the nail comes out, and then you just flip the tool over. Put the gripper rollers on it, again, a couple of twists, and out comes your stake. These are great tools for anybody that's, that's doing concrete work. They can save you time, money, can make your job go faster, but more importantly, they're great safety factors. You have a whole lot less problems installing stakes and pulling stakes with our tools. Well, we started this video showing you our hickey bars. They're designed for bending rebar sizes three, right on up through a number five bar. Your number 10, your 13, your 16 millimeter. But what if you have to bend, say, a 20 millimeter bar, a number six bar? We had a number of contractors ask if we could come up with something that's more affordable than what's out on the marketplace today, but that would do the job. And so this is our latest addition, and it's designed to bend rebar right on up to a number six. And you can bend rebar that's in place, you can straighten rebar if that's what you need to do on the job. It's a very handy tool. But what if you have to bend even bigger bar, say a number eight bar? Well, we created an even larger one that will bend your sixes right on up to a number nine bar, 29 millimeter. And you can see the thing is about as tall as me. And I'm 6'6". Six, six. Okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm 5'5". Five, five. But this is a great tool if you have to bend rebar in place or straighten it out. It's a great tool to have in your toolbox. It can save you a ton of time and effort uh, on the job when you have to make adjustments to the rebar. Another product that people were telling us was very expensive are breaker bars. They can cost a contractor 200 bucks in some cases. Well, we decided that we would design one that has an oval-shaped handle to give it additional strength, strong welds, solid through the top, 
and this is a great product. If you have to tear apart forms, if you have other types of uh, situations where you need to break the product apart, uh, it has nail pullers both at the front and in the, at both locations here. This is a tool that every contractor should have in their toolbox. And it's very affordable, about half the price of the competition. So those are some of the new hand tools. Now let me show you some other additions to our line. One of our most popular manual tools that we sell is our MBC16B1 rebar cutter bender. This is a great tool for anyone that's doing concrete work or masonry work. And each time you need to cut or bend rebar sizes three, four, or five, your 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, anything in between, this is a great tool. And we designed it, uh, made some changes to it recently, to where it now comes mounted on a shorter board. The board's 48 inches. This makes it so that it'll ship easier, it'll store in your, uh, your racks much easier. And you can see that we've separated to where the handle now comes as a separate piece. The handle itself, one of the things that, one of the problems that we find with, uh, with any type of manual rebar cutter bender is that the contractor, the user, tends to put a cheater bar on it. And when they do that, they end up bending the handle. And then the tool doesn't work anymore. So we made this choice of coming up with the smaller board, but we keep the same length of our handle. But in addition, we make this solid steel in this section. So when you attach the unit, put it together, and lock it into place, you can see that you got a handle that's even longer than the board. It's 20% longer than the competition. This makes it easier to both cut and bend with our tool versus the competition. And yet it comes to you already mounted on a board, ready to be used out in the field. Some other nice features to this tool is that when you make cuts, you have a cutting block in the front and you also have one on the top. And you can see how with our model, as opposed to some of the other models out in the field, the handle stays open. So you can make the mark where you want to make the cut, put it into the tool, and then bring it down against it to cut. Now we'll show you that in just a little bit. But let me show you some other good features about this product. When I turn it around, you'll see the bending rollers that are on the tool. And this is a camshaft. Most of our competition out there just has a single mandrel here that they bend around, which is set up to bend your number three bar in a 90 degree or 180. But when you bend a number four, it doesn't quite get there. And number five is even worse. You can see how this is off-centered. So as you rotate it, depending on which bar you're gonna bend, you'll get a true 90 or 180 degree, whether it's a number three, a number four, or a number five rebar that you're bending your 10s, your 13s, or your 16 millimeter bars. Another nice feature is our safety chain. It goes over the handle and it's attached to the board and it makes it very easy to pick the tool up and carry it wherever you want it on the job site. Now let me show you how easy it is to cut and bend with this tool. Once you have the tool where you want to do your cuts or bends, then just simply remove the safety chain and then, as I mentioned earlier, the handle can come all the way up. I can make my mark wherever I want to make a cut, place it in the tool, and you can do it either in the front piece or in the top. This is a number four bar, so we're just cutting it in the top. And you can see how easy and quickly you can cut. Now, if you're gonna bend, I mentioned that this cam roller can be adjusted, and right now it's on a size for bending a number five, but we're gonna bend a number four bar. So we're gonna put it in the middle section. And then I can set my rebar in. If I wanna do a 90 degree, it's very simple and quick. And I can do a 90. If I wanna make that 180, or even a 135, then I can set it back in there. And I can continue to bend and bring the, tool, bring the bar all the way around to 180 degrees. 
This is a great tool. It's perfect for the job site. If you have to cut or bend rebar and you're only dealing in small sizes, your 13 millimeter, your 10 millimeter, or even up to a 16, your threes, fours, or fives, this is a great tool to have in your toolbox. Every contractor has bolt cutters in their toolbox, and every distributor offers a variety of different manufacturers. What sets us apart is our bolt cutters have a much harder edge than a standard bolt cutter. Your standard bolt cutter is designed for cutting something up to an HRC 42, and it normally says that right on the tool. But what if you get into harder material? Well, then you end up creating nicks in your blade. They look like big strippers rather than bolt cutters. But we thought, well, what if we could make a bolt cutter up to that HRC 48 level, much like a, a high tensile bolt cutter, and yet offer it at a standard bolt cutter price. In fact, maybe even offer it below a standard bolt cutter price. That way, you would have a tool that will last longer, it won't nick as easily, and it'll be a great addition to your toolbox. And so that's what we've done. All of our units are high tensile. They're up to a 48 HRC. And we make it in a 14 inch, an 18 inch, a 24 inch, a 30 inch, 36, right on up to a 42. These are great bolt cutters. And we do offer replacement blades for all of our tools uh, should you need replacement blades. But the beauty is they cost oftentimes either at a standard bolt cutter price or even less. Now, we've added some other bolt cutters. For example, cutting wire mesh. This is a great tool where if you're having to trim off wire mesh uh, on your concrete job, say a driveway or what have you, you can just slide the tip right underneath, hook the mesh, close the jaws, and you cut it. It's a great tool, and again, much less cost than the competition. Other items we have, uh, if you're really getting into some extremely hard material, we make a bolt cutter that has very strong steel in the head here. That way, we can really use a different type of steel, almost like a tool steel, and then give you a triangular shape so you get two built-in replacement edges, even if you should nick it. Mind you, most people that have bought these tools, they've never rotated the blades because the blades are so good. And then finally, it's frustrating when you have your bolt cutter and it's in your toolbox in the back of your truck and you need it up on the job site. So we've made two different types of folding bolt cutters, an 18 inch and a 24 inch. So you can see how this is, this will fit easily into the toolbox that you take up on the job site. And then you simply push the handles in, push this button in, the tool folds open. Now, we're not able to have the 48 on this. This is a standard bolt cutter, so it's at a 42, just like the uh, other bolt cutters on the market. But you have the convenience of being able to have something that will fit in the toolbox that you brought right on to the job site, fold it up, and put it back in your toolbox after you use it. These are just some of the wonderful tools that we've created for the professional contractor. If you'd like more information, you can go to our website, bnproducts.com, or you can call our 800 number, and our customer service people will help you out. Hey, thanks for watching.